in this lecture, we're going to be adding in our camera zoom zones. This is something that I think we really need because if you've noticed before, uh, when we hit play here, we're pretty zoomed in. And the reason for this is because our canvas size is really small. It's probably the smallest that you're going to want to go for a pixel game. And the reason behind that is you want to be able to scale up. It's kind of hard to tell in the Edge preview browser, but if I go to NWJS by clicking through all of these, you're going to notice that our actual window size is 320 by 180. It's really small, but when I scale this up or make this full screen, it's going to be pixel perfect, and that's kind of your rule to follow uh, when it comes to making a pixel game, especially when it comes to actually scaling this. But that doesn't solve... Uh, the problem that we have where we can't see the entire level, especially when we go into level two. And real quick, I also tweaked the time over here that works for me. If you go into your game manager and in your room transition, I wait 1.4 seconds and then it'll actually trigger our fade uh, and a little let our fade get to 100. Okay, but really what that means is if I put our window size to something bigger, yes, if I put this to 640 by 360, now let me put this back to edge just so you can see. If I put this back at 640 by 360, you can see that we will be more zoomed out. We'll see more of our layout. Now this, is, this could actually be a solution that you might deploy. That's definitely a viable solution, but there's actually an easier one using camera zoom zones. What we're going to do instead is we're going to set up a camera zone object. And here's how this is going to work. On our level one layout, we are going to make a new layer. Again, if you're using the free version, just start to consolidate your layers. And we're going to call this, uh, let's call this zones. And what we're going to do here is we're going to double click, make a new sprite object, and let's give it a color. So you see here how I have a primary and secondary color. With the paint bucket tool, if I left click, then I get my primary. If I right click, I get my secondary. So I'm going to use my secondary color here because I think it's a nicer color. I'm going to call this my object uh, zoom and what I'm going to do here is set the alpha down to about 50 and then I'm going to give this a not a behavior but an instance variable called zoom actually let's call this our zone ID and hit OK that's going to have that's going to be a number type so what I want to do is I want to plaster our level with these zones because that's going to control our scale rate that's going to control our layout scale and it's actually going to not interfere with our look ahead camera at all, which is really cool. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to set it up so when the player overlaps our object zoom, it's going to compare the zone ID and it's going to tell us where we are at and what scale level we need to be at for our layout. So here's how this is going to work. Let's copy and paste this guy two more times. So just control click until you have three copies of this. And on the first one, we're just going to have the zone ID equal zero. The second one is going to equal one. And the third one is going to equal two. So this is going to be our normal. This is going to be our zoom in. And this is going to be our zoom out. Now, this is the very tip of the iceberg to things you can be doing with camera zooming. Uh, but it's going to be a very important iceberg. So here's what we're going to do. And I consolidated our um, layout events for our start of our layout, just in case you were wondering what that was. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say if our player mask is overlapping the object zoom, then we need to compare in a sub event. So let's hit B on the keyboard to make a blank sub event. What our zone ID currently equals. If our zone ID equals zero, then we are going to have our layout scale be normal. Let's copy and paste this again. If it equals one, we're going to zoom in. So let's make a comment for that and zoom in again. Making a comment is with the Q key. Copy and paste again. And if our zone ID equals two, then we're going to zoom out. OK, so the zoom out actually might end up being our most important one. But here's how we're going to do this. It's actually very simple for our normal zoom. We want to actually set it to a little bit less than what our layout scale currently is. Currently, our layout scale is at one. So let me actually go into our zone ID actions. Let's go system uh, type in layout scale where it's going to say set layout scale and hit enter. And right here, you're going to see 1.0 is our original size and 2.0 is double the size. So believe it or not, if I put this to 2.0 and put this on the start of our layout, we could zoom in even further. And because 1.0 is what our size is now, and it's already pretty ginormous because of our window size, um, then we need to actually go a little bit less than that. So let's put this to 0.7 is what we're going to do. But actually, 
first things first let's put that to 0.7 we're going to come back and change that i just want to make sure that i put this back uh, if you didn't already we are going to leave this at 320 by 180 because uh, at 640 by 360, it would just be too zoomed out, uh, but that could work for your game if that's what you are after. But here's how we're going to fix that. Here's how we're going to make 320 by 180 play nice with actually seeing our entire level. So instead of just setting our layout scale to 0 0.7, we're actually going to be lerping. So we're going to lerp between our current position, so layout scale, and then we're going to grab the normal, so 0 0.7, and then we're going to say four times delta time. Now that's gonna be the speed that we go from what we're currently at to what we need to be at. So we're probably gonna be at like one and then we want to be at 0 0.7. So let's hit okay. That's only gonna make a little bit of a difference and we can actually set that on the start of our layout if we needed to, but that's going to be our normal uh, overlap when we overlap any zoom object with the zone ID of zero. Let's copy and paste this and now all we need to change is this target position. So if we're zooming in, then all we have to do is go back to one. And if we are zooming out, then we have to go lower than 0 0.7. So let's say we're gonna go all the way down to 0 0.5, just like that. So that's pretty much it for our camera zone. So let's go and hit save. Let's go to our test layout so we can get to our position on our level one layout. Let's just walk over. I might fix this just so we can kind of bypass this uh, in the future. But now we have our zone zero here. So you're going to notice just a little bit of a change from one to 0 0.7. So I think I'm going to set that up just so we don't have to see that change. This is going to be our normal zoom rate. This is the normal rate we want to play our game at. This is the scale. And then when I go over here, we have our zoom in. So that's actually what we started with. So we're going from 0 0.7, which is our new normal. And we're going to one, which is our zoom in. Yes, you can go to two if you really wanted to zoom all the way in, or you can go anything higher than one, doesn't really matter. And then this is our zoom out. So this will now allow us to see anything and everything. So they both have, or they all have their merits. You know, you can use them for what you need. But what I like about this the most is that we don't have a statement that says, if we're not overlapping this, go back to the normal one. It's actually just setting it and then it's leaving it there. Now that's completely optional. So here's how we can change both of these things. Let's go into our game manager again. And on the start of our layout, instead of, um, Instead of having this set when we're overlapping, we can just set this on the start of our layout. So now for every single layout, that should work. Um, but what we're going to do uh, instead, or what you could do, is you could say if we are not overlapping, then set it back to normal as well. And that way you can just have, um, you can just always have it do that instead. That's a different type of gameplay mechanic, but that's totally up to you if that's how you want to make your puzzle platformer. And to do that, to make an else statement, all I did was select this condition and hit X on the keyboard. So let's hit play and let's check out our zoom zones with this uh, in mind. And let's see how we like it. So on our start of our layout, we should be at 0 0.7. So when we, yes, when we overlap this, we see no change whatsoever. When we go over here, we zoom into one. And if we go back over here, actually no, better yet, since we put in that else statement, when I'm not overlapping this, now we're back to 0 0.7. We can go, we can zoom all the way out when we're over here, but now we're back to 0 0.7. So that's actually not that bad. I kind of like that in there uh, more than I thought I would. And you can mess around with that and see what you like the most and what you want to use. But now what we can do is we can design our level with this. So maybe down here we can have this be our zoom out. Maybe what we want to actually see everything. So we'll just kind of put this like this. And of course we're going to make all of these objects invisible. Uh, maybe like right around here we want to zoom in when we're falling down this well. And then maybe right here we want to be normal or just in case you need a normal block you also have one of those available to you. So we're not going to set these up in this lecture. We just wanted to program our object zoom. Uh, let's make sure that we make this invisible by selecting all of these and holding shift and then double clicking on our initial visibility to make that invisible and hit save. I actually think I'm going to leave in our else statement here because I kind of like it and also we'll just leave it there. Actually, technically, we can just get rid of this now since this is always going to be testing to see if we're not overlapping. So that should work off the bat just like that. And there you go. Since we're not overlapping any object zooms, that should work. And let's see here. Actually, I don't have the, um, let's do this. Let's make this visible again. And let's put this right here and just make sure that when uh, we overlap that, there's no change. Let me play from the test layout. And let's go. Let's check it out. 
So let's go here, press space, watch us zoom out, fade all the way out and in. And now we should be at 0.7 and we are just like that. We don't even need to put it in our start of our layout. So there you go. That is how camera zoom zones work. Thank you so much for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one.